Hey you, are you wasting your time on social media again? Your brothers and sisters in Islam net from Norway are establishing a masjid, a dawah center, establishing a masjid to convey the message of Islam is one of the best deeds a Muslim can do. There's a huge need for it in Norway. You know this and I know this. So that makes the reward even greater. So give generously and Allah Azza wa Jal will give you even more. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys doing? I'm here in Oslo, in Norway, in a tour that we're doing here in Scandinavia to see whether the sentiments that we're seeing with the Islamophobic elements, the anti-Islamic elements, burning the Quran and so on, which has been covered all over international news, is wide or are widely shared among the public, the populace here in, for example, Scandinavian regions. So we're going to be asking people what they think about that particular action, whether they support it, so we can see whether or not this is a representation of the main uh, kind of opinion here in Scandinavia. All right, can I ask you a question? Uh, sure. Okay, we're just doing a, an experiment here in Oslo. Yes, we were just asking people, members of the public. I'm not sure if you've seen on the news in Scandinavia and Sweden and other parts of the world, there's a fad here in Scandinavia now with some individuals coming and burning the holy books of the Muslims, like the Quran and so on. Oh, okay. What do you think of the idea of burning a holy book? Um, without having given it much thought, I don't think you should burn any books. It's bad. It's bad? Okay. Yeah, how about yourself? What do you uh, think? I don't know, but uh, maybe bad. I think it's unnecessary to... Yeah. Uh, if it's not your religion, then why would you do something hateful towards others? It's unnecessary. Why would you burn a book? Yeah. Even if you don't agree with religion, it's just let people believe. Well, I mean, people have their own freedom for their own religion, and yeah. I think they should have that in peace. It's not anyone's business what other people believe. So if someone, if someone wanted to go against what I believe, I would feel that was that's not good, so... Yeah. My, I, I don't think people should judge each other based on religion, colour, anything. So, I, yeah, yeah I, I think we should just coexist in peace. People are not interested in this kind of thing, and they're not interested in trying to, you know, hurt Muslim feelings, as she said it. What's the point of doing something which is going to enrage uh, the community of, of, of people in a country? What's the point of it? It doesn't make any sense at all. And so once again, sometimes we can get the wrong impression that the ideas of a few people, say in Scandinavia or so on, or any other part of the world, is representative of the bulk of people, which it isn't here, we're seeing firsthand. But in order for this kind of project to continue, for us to continue show, showcasing this, to, to outreaching to people, to speaking to them about Islam, to having these genuine and authentic conversations, then yes, we need to support the Dawa project here in Norway and in the rest of Scandinavia. I'm giving you an opportunity here and myself to click the link below where you can actually monetarily help out to the cause. And I would say, do not miss on this opportunity. It's a very important one. Some people make the argument though, for example, they all say that this is actually an expression of freedom of uh, speech and expression. Do you think this is an appropriate way of um, manifesting freedom of speech and expression? No. In yeah. Norway, we have a saying that yeah. uh, if you don't have anything nice to say, then you shouldn't say it out loud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that... Yes, you should have the freedom of speech, but if it's hurtful to other people, what's the point of, of saying it, you know? Yes. I mean, from their perspective, the argument they would say is that well, the reason why they're doing it is because they think there's a Muslim, a, a credible Muslim threat in Norway that needs to be resisted and challenged. And so we have to burn their holy books because that's where they get their ideas, they would say, uh, of all these kind of um, terroristic ideas and so on. Do you think this is a legitimate argument? No, no, I will not support it as, yeah. no. Yes. I don't really see it as a threat, so, yes. yeah. Yes, uh, and do you think that your opinion is representative of the majority of Norwegians, or do you think that Norwegians will think, actually, we should burn the book because we should have, you know, this is something we should challenge and we should take advantage of our freedom of expression. What, what kind of opinion do you think the majority of your friends and family would have? They will say the same uh, as me. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so it's not representative, these people who are doing no. this, of the majority of people that you no. know? No, uh, no. I think they would have the same opinion as me. Yes. Like, if, you, if you're not engaged in your religion, just, just don't care about it, just don't do nothing. Why would you actually use your own time and resources to first get the book and then burn it for no real benefit? 
So there you have it, folks. We've seen, without a shadow of a doubt, that the majority of people that we've seen, in fact, all of them that we've discussed with, have said that they don't think this is a necessary thing, they don't think it's a good thing. In fact, the statistics that be done in the matter, and the people who actually support this, is a very, very, you know, fringe minority, you could say, support the action that not only they should be given the right to burn the book, but that it is an appropriate action in the first place. Both steps are required in order for the action to be supported, and those who actually support this action in that manner are maybe a fringe minority of the people in this country. With that being said, guys, I think now it's time to realize that when you consider that the biggest masjid and dawah center, the biggest center for Muslim, if you like, education in the entire region of Scandinavia is being uh, constructed, and I've seen the extensions themselves, they are putting the money in the right place and physical and tangible resources, and that these kinds of programs can be done, outreach programs can be done, training programs can be done, the mosque is there for the Muslim community, there's programs for the young people, all of that stuff is there. Now, I think it's high time we realize that we need to contribute to this to for our survival, quite frankly, in, in, this, in these countries, in the West, for our continued existence, and so that we can normalize Islam and Muslim uh, you know, being in, in, in these kinds of places. And you must click. And don't be afraid that if you give to the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you will be uh, depreciated in sadaqah. Because the Prophet ﷺ said that man malam min sadaqatin, that money does not depreciate with giving charity. So now it's time to click on the link below and go ahead and donate to this cause. And you'll see the fruits in our generation, inshallah, and the generations to come. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, let me introduce you to Norway. This is a European country where the vast majority of people have become irreligious. There are 200,000 Muslims of a population of about 5 million. And most of these 200,000 Muslims have no idea how to explain Islam to their non-Muslim friends and neighbors. But that needs to change. Allah sent his messenger to call people to eternal success. And that is why Muslims in Norway are now establishing a masjid and Dawa Center to enhance the Norwegian Dawa. But they cannot do this alone. We need to support them. If you donate to the scores, you will inshallah reap the rewards of thousands of Muslims coming back to Islam. And many of those will become Dua'at and invite to Islam. You will share in the reward for all those shahadas and good deeds to come, inshallah. So click the link and donate now and share the video for extra reward.